Today was my, I suppose, second day working on the new short story. Uh, and, wow. <laughs> you, don't, you don't think that like a month off of uh, actually, you know, doing prose and doing writing would affect you. But boy, there's, there's some cobwebs I got to shake off. Um, and today, especially, I learned a really, really big lesson, which was you need to avoid going with the first idea that comes to your head. Um, when we write, often our first drafts are riddled with cliches, um, old, you know, just rehashed ideas and themes, uh, metaphors that are weak. And the reason for that, and the reason why there's a lot of weak writing in that sense, is because you're going off of your initial idea the the first thing that comes to you um, when when people draft especially people that fast draft when they write down hey first thing that comes to their head and they try to get you know two thousand three thousand words done a day whatever that is a lot of times they're not reconsidering what they're actually writing they're not putting a lot of thought into what they're doing they're just going with the first idea that pops into their head thinking that hey I'm keeping the story moving but the problem is that the top of our head right like that that area in our mind that where the, the initial ideas come from those are littered with cliches and with weak writing because cliches and weak writing are the most obvious answers and our brain does this thing where it's basically trying to come up with the simplest solution, the most obvious, straightforward answer to our problems. And so if you're trying to write a scene and you're setting it maybe in a different, you know, in a certain location or the topic of the conversation is some sort of minutia or you have this scene in your mind uh, of these characters having a conversation, I'm betting that they're probably less original than what you might think, um, bordering on cliche at certain times. That's why you always need to avoid the first thing that comes to your head. It, it's You've got to write through it. it. It needs to be like, okay, so here's a metaphor. All right, I'm going to do this metaphor here. Oh, oh, God, that's such a weak metaphor. I've seen it before. Okay, get rid of it go to the next one the the best metaphors and the best writing and the most really the, the, the most original work comes after you've kind of gotten rid of those those first ideas those initial ones that you you skipped the that that easy answer that simplest um, response that immediate response um, to something uh, and Man, I have all day today. That was that was what I was working on. Um, I, I was trying to set the scene of two teenagers having a conversation, and boy, that was that was rough. That was a pain, uh, mostly because every single scene I had in my head would be you know them walking you know across the schoolyard with the school buses behind them, or it would be them. Um, you know, with bikes, like, like like walking with bikes in their hands or something like that, right? It, it's the stuff that you've seen in all of these these teenage um, movies there, right? You see, like, in Stranger Things, et cetera, right, where, where these kids are on some sort of adventure. And so I've had to really flush through those and get through those initial ideas to start finding more original, um, original settings for the characters, original conversations, original actions that they can do that is not them pushing a bicycle, playing basketball, them whatever, what have you, right? It's it's finding these original things, these very true to life things that are far more believable and are far more rare to see on the page. And man, it's tough. It is tough, but I really, 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 really think it's important to understand that, though, that you are 
as a writer basically winning and losing on this ground you are winning and losing on how original your work seems on how um how much it deviates from the known uh, obviously you can hang a lantern on certain tropes certain ideas what have you but the more you go away from that the better your writing is going to be the stronger it's going to be and a lot of it comes down to just not going with the first thing that pops in your head to not go with that initial intuition but to think and give it time um, and so if you're kind of in the same process if you are going through this as well I would encourage you to really re-examine your work and see how many scenes you've written where you've seen it before where you've seen this kind of thing before how many um, metaphors have you written that are that we've heard before that are perhaps cliche that are not original to the character look at your work and see how much of it came from just the immediate I have to get this draft done quickly here it is versus I took the time really considered and I think my character would say this or my character would process it this way or my character would actually do this action with their friend right that's where the originality comes in that's that's where we can get some really 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 strong writing um, so I hope that helps I, I know for myself this was an important lesson to re-remember today <laughs> and so with that I'll uh, I'll sign off here and I will see you all tomorrow <laughs>